the creativity and those who make a difference. Honoring Black History, sponsored by Lubbock National Bank. As Black History Month comes to an end, we want to continue supporting those in our community making a difference. Victor Sims is the founder of Guiding Hope, which is a nonprofit that focuses on the well-being of kids in the foster care system. Back in January, he opened up a group home where KOBK's Livia Whitehead joins us. What makes this home so unique? Well, we all know Lubbock is full of hope, and this house right here behind me is a huge part of that. Now, Victor was in the foster care system for 12 years, so he knows all of the challenges faced by each child he now brings in, and he's working to redefine what a group home really means. One of the things that um, has made me smile, cry, um, shout for joy um, is most of the kids have like identified us as a family already. Um, and that's a hard thing um, for kids who've been given up on so many times. The Hope Home offers seven kids much needed stability. The, the system's a dark place for a lot of kids because it's it's not meant to be normal. It's supposed to be a temporary system that like keeps kids a lot longer than they're, they're supposed to get. A situation Sims can personally relate to. I remember when they tried to get me in a group home, um, I literally was like, nope, what I will do is I will sleep under the, like sleep in this office under this desk. She wanted to change schools. I said, I won't go to school until you like find a school that like I actually want to go to. And it's the same school I've been going to. I, I need something to like stay the same, something that's constant. Later, finding that consistency in his mom. I've been uh, very blessed um, just to, <laughs> to have been adopted. Um, and so I like, I understood what love meant. I mean, most of the rules we have in this house are like based off the rules my mom made. We've had a lot of we had a lot of, lot of rough moments when I first moved in, and she just did it. Like she was there. And he has worked to translate that same sense of love to 10701. I've been to a lot of placements, so this feels more of a family than anything else. I don't care who you are, where you're from. Like there's a way to get involved. There's a way to like show a kid that you love them. Um, and I think like. If we can change the way that children see this world, we change the world. Olivia Whitehead, KLBK News. Now with two 17-year-olds, they are working to expand to independent living because as Sim says, you don't just leave your kids when they turn 18, and he stands by that, and so do other parents. Next on your news at 6, vaccine officials on 